that's our stand. A blessed good night to each and every one of you. Tonight I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And we are so thankful for this night, for living to, to see the 31st of of December 2022. It's a privilege. This morning I gave honor to the Triumph God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And we just want to give thanks for God's goodness. We want to praise him. We want to magnify his name. We want to give glory and honor and praise because he is worthy. Our God is worthy of all our praise. And we just want to magnify his holy name tonight. Thank God for life. Many began the year with us, but at last they're gone from time into eternity. So tonight we want to give thanks and we want to give praise. At this time we will begin our service by saying, All hail King Jesus. All hail King Jesus. All Yeah. 
Almighty God, Amen. you are awesome in this place, Heavenly Father. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise, and to you our lives be raised. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy. Jesus. At this time, I'm asking our sister Karen Cumberbatch to come and read the evening lesson for us. God bless her. She comes.
evening Bible reading will be taken from 2 Timothy chapter 1, 6 to 14. Praise God. Reading. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, by putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partakers of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world begun. But is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who have abolished death and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles, for the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am, sorry, for, for the which cause I suffer these things, nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know who I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of sound words, which thou have heard of me in faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus, that good things which was committed unto thee keep by thy Holy Ghost, which dwells in us. Here ends your reading. Thank God for the word, the reading of the word. At this time, we'll ask our sister Brenda Walker to come and do the intercessory prayer. God bless her as she comes. Amen. Blessed good night to one and all. Father in heaven, we thank you for bringing us here today. Lord, we could, we could have chosen to go somewhere else, but we so desire to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for every heart, every soul that is in this sanctuary tonight, all whosoever is online who are watching. For Lord, we ask you to show up. For you can be the awesome God, the magnificent one, Lord, the one who we worship, the one who we adore. And Lord, as we partake in this service today, Lord, may you use each and every one of us, Lord, for your honor and for your glory. And Lord, as we are about to herald out the old year and usher in the new, Lord, we pray that it may be one full of excitement. It may be full of new ideas, Lord, that we, your people, would pick up your word, Lord, and move away. Yeah. The hearts will be, will be, will be won, yeah. and souls will be saved, Lord. Yeah. And, as, and as we go forward into 2023, Lord, we don't know what it holds. Only one man knows, and that's the Father. But, Lord, we depend on you. We know you will never fail us, Lord. So, Lord, as we continue in this service today, Lord, let your Holy Spirit direct, Lord. Let it, let it shift. Let it move. Let everyone that is here, Lord, when they leave here, they will say, it was good being here. Yes, Lord. And, Lord, we thank you now for every possible thing that we may go and do, Lord, as we put our hands to the plug, Lord. You be there with us, Lord, and that your name will be glorified and everything will be praised in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, I want to welcome the household of faith. First, we want to welcome our pastor, Troy. Lady Petrina and Josiah 
our assistant pastor, Reverend Lady Sobers. And as we can see, she has a part of our family with her. We would like to welcome them. We, we welcome also our Minister Rhonda, our Minister Rhonda. All heads of department, all ministers, all visitors, we give them a robot welcome. And we pray that each of us will loosen up ourselves and enjoy ourselves in the house of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Let us welcome our sister Brenda. Praise the Lord. Thank her so much for the prayer and the welcome. Tonight our theme is we kindle the fire. So tonight we just pray that God will send out his fire in this house tonight. We're looking at the fire of God, the Holy Ghost fire. You'll find that in Matthew 3, 11 to 12. And the fire of God, 1 Kings 18, 38, and the Holy Ghost power. Matthew 1 8. As a church of God, we need to experience the fire of God, the Holy Ghost, and fire. The fire of God burns off all impurities, all things that are not conducive to the will of God. Fire is a state of combustion, producing heat, flames, and smoke. So tonight, we are looking forward to receive the fire of God. The fire of God shall never go out on our altars. We have to rekindle the flame, keep the fire burning on our altars. So tonight, we pray that God will come down in our midst. He would rain down in our midst. We are looking forward for his glory to fall in our midst tonight. As we come, he has come to worship. Let us worship God is spirit and the truth. And as we come, Forget, let us forget ourselves and concentrate on him and worship Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give him glory, give him praise. Let everything that has breath praise the name of the Lord. Because God, he is worthy of all our praises. From the rising of the sun, even unto the going down thereof. His name is worthy to be praised. So tonight we have come to worship, and we will worship God because he deserves worship and true worship. You're looking for our true worshipers. Tonight I introduce the worship team to you, and as they come, God bless them as we join them in worship. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalms 100 remind us that we ought to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. For we know tonight that he is our provider. He is our El Shaddai tonight. He is the God of plenty. And tonight we will just give God his rightful due. We are saying you are more than enough. You are more than enough. You are more.
Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why don't you sing and shout? If you know the Lord is by your side, everything he will provide. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? Father God, we know that you are keeping us tonight, O oh God, in spirit and in truth, God, and in mind, O oh God. And even as we will present our bodies first before you, God, I pray, God, that if there's sickness, O oh God, in the house, God, you will remove it, God. If there's heaviness of heart, God, you will remove it, O oh God, so that your Holy Spirit, God, can flow through us, O oh God, that your name can be magnified, O oh God. Father, if there's distress, O oh God, you bring joy, God. If there's worry, God, you bring peace, O oh God. And even as we would offer up, God, these sacrificial offering unto you, God, Father, I pray that you will bless it, God. And may it be spent, God, to your honor and to your glory, God. And bless the hands, O oh God, that have given, O oh God. And bless those, God, that who don't have to give, God, that you will open doors, that they too will be able to give, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Sister Rita will give her testimony in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will see of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will see of the goodness of God. Darkest 
night. You are close like no other. I've known you as my father. I've known you as my friend. Oh, I have lived in the goodness of God.
of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. There is joy in my soul. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus' blood has made me whole. Glory, hallelujah. His love and power divine. As does this heart of mine, oh, there is joy. Joy in my soul. Oh, there is joy in my soul. Glory, hallelujah, my Jesus' blood. I'm giving thanks tonight for God's great goodness. I praise God I can say tonight I'm, I serve a great, big, wonderful God. And I can sing the song, there's joy in my soul. I have joy in my soul. Sometimes I have a little happiness too. But I know when something happens, that happiness is gone. But the joy is still there. I praise God, I, I'm a joyful Christian. Amen. I want to be a joyful child to God. Amen. I want to serve the Lord even no more in my Amen. old days. Yeah. And I t always tell the Lord so, help me to serve him. God has given me the privilege, all of us, yeah. to live to see the end of the year 2022. Thank God, like I said, it, it, it does be a great thing for me. He gave me the privilege to live to see 82, 87 years. Yeah. Praise God. And uh, three months, not only years, that 87 and three months. Yeah. If I live to say the 15th of next month, it will be three months. And I give God praise and I give God honor Amen. because he is my all in all. And uh, whatever I ask God for, he give it to me. Amen. And I give him thanks and praise. That's why every morning I make it my business to take the time to read my books and to give him thanks. Amen. Because it is he that gave me food. It is he that gave me clothes. And whatever I need, the Lord give me. So I give, I have a lot to thank him this morning, <laughs> tonight. And I will always give him thanks. Yes. We are in the what did I say? The first day of the first morning in the year 2003. It is a great, great privilege this morning. It's a great privilege. And I thank God for it to be here in the house of God. When I come up tonight, it will feel very chilly, but I feel so now. I don't feel so now. I feel good. And it is no better place than in the house of the Lord. And I give him all the glory and all the honor that are due unto his holy name because he is my God and he takes me through. Amen. Up to yesterday, I nearly had a fall. But praise God, he held me up. Yes. He held me up. And I tell you, I, uh, the, the enemy thinks he had me trick because I work on many house, stepping up some steps. And he tell me, look at your bikes. Yes, you got your phone. I said, no, when I get in the house, I will check the bike. You know, he want me to call, you know, he's going up the steps. 
And I going up, and he, behind him now, we got a good fall on my other day. But I thank God for wisdom. I thank God for understanding. And I thank God for everything. For even helping me to not to stand up on these two feet. In the name of Jesus. I say I have something to praise God for. He's saying that we have something that the world can't get. No, the world can't take it away. And I know the world can't take away what it has. Because it was given to me by God. So I wish everyone a happy and a prosperous new year. In the name of Jesus. And I hope that we all, it, it will be a good year. If it be God's will for all of us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for our sister. Praise God. At this time, our sister Natalie, she will come and give her testimony. And after that, the worship leaders will come on. And then we would have our Pastor Sobers with the word. God bless her. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> I can say that every day the Lord himself is near me Amen. with a special mercy for each hour. All my days he fain will bear and cheer me. He whose name is Counselor and Power. The protection of his child and treasure is a charge that on himself he laid. And as my days, my strength shall be a measure. This is the pledge to me he made. Now I want to thank God. I have so, 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 so much to thank God for. When my sister wrapped me in the sheet to strangle me, I don't want to fight. My mother go on town. When she had the big pen, and she says, skin coffee, no, no, put it down over your head. The voice said, run. Run. And I jump up off the bed, and I run. And she behind me. He ain't get me down. He washed my way, one of the 12. What are they going to the bridge? A guy run and he grabbed me up out the wall. That guy, I always say, I know God. I know God. Mm -hmm. By the coming from confirmation class, 12 years. And I wash me. And, I, and all I try to grab the grass, everything wet. Cause the water, they flood the whole place. You know, I got stuff from road. I hear about people that get washed with the dead. I'm alive Amen. to tell the story how I overcome. Amen. It is this goodness and mercy that I'm here, alive and well. Amen. Giving God honor and glory because He's my all in all. I don't care what the enemy threw at me. I am more than a conqueror. Amen. Because I can eat this word, drink it, and live it. I was young. <laughs> I know what's going on in age. If I live to say March 23rd, I'll be 70 years. I am thankful Amen. unto God. Amen. I don't care what the enemy throw at me. He will never, ever get better than me. Because I am the Lord's. I know. I don't play a church. Every moment that I live, every second that I live, I'm the Lord. He is mine forever and forever. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He can never, ever, ever triumph over you. When I remember when I gone through some things, I think I went through a little bit. I think I went through nothing. And I cry to God. I said, God, get off here. He said, nobody will off here you. Nobody. I remember I'm working and I try my best to be a God child in my workplace. And Supervisors is get jealous. Uh, everybody loves sister now. Everybody did. So, so they want to tear me. Uh, and carry me before the hierarchies. Well, a big lie. Well, a big lie. They can't tell the truth. And I said, Lord, you come and go with me. I remember the day I had to go, he said to me, I'm going with you. This will be said, whatever you need, you shall have. And when I went, let me tell you, when I hear the PO, she said, from my heart, I got to give this to me. And she knew it. And let me tell you something. When he said, well, what else do she know? Fair enough. Oh, fair enough. Hmm? Huh? Let me tell you something. I serve a deliverer. Hmm? He is a deliverer. And he deliver you from the hand of the enemy. Hmm? When the gang, when the gang get you, when in, in, in order to plan in the plot, in the plot, in the plot, uh, but it can never, ever, ever get the victory over us if we say that we love the Lord and we understand that he is good and we believe he and we trust him and we obey him, he will do the rest. That's my destiny. Hallelujah. That means he's all that we need tonight. Amen? Amen. He is all that we need, all that we would desire tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is made to me all I need, all I need. He alone is all my plea. He is all I need. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is made to me all I need, all I need. He alone is all my plea.
wisdom, wisdom, righteousness, and poor holiness forevermore. My redemption, full and sure. Oh, He is all. He gives us wisdom, wisdom, righteousness, and poor holiness forevermore. My redemption, full and sure. Oh, He is all. The treasure, he's the treasure of my soul. All I need, all I need, he has granted and made me whole. He is all I need. He is my treasure, he's the treasure of my soul. All I need, all I need, he has granted and made me whole. He is all. Glory, 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 glory to the land. All I need, all I need, by His Spirit sealed I am. He is glory, 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 glory to the land. All I need, all I need, by His Spirit sealed I am. He is all.
glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for tonight. I thank God for everybody in here tonight that opened their mouth and said, Lord, you are all I need. Can you experience the goodness of God? When you were down, he lifts you up. When you were sick, he healed you. When you had nothing home and you're covered, he provided for you. He is all in need. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I welcome and I acknowledge the triune God in this midst tonight. God indeed affect the presence of God. Hallelujah. I also would uh, acknowledge and greet our pastor Troy, Lady Petrina, and their son. Thank God. Our Reverend Rhonda, greetings. I acknowledge. I acknowledge all my brothers and my sisters in this house tonight. And I thank God for all of you that you can look in my face and I can look in your face. Right? And you can give a smile too because you are at the verge of a new year. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Let's bow our heads. Father who art in heaven, Lord, I give you thanks and I give you praise and I give you glory, oh God. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for this moment, Lord, as I share your word with your people, oh God. Lord, and as I speak your word, oh God, I pray that I will touch me from the very crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Touch my mouth there, God, that what I speak, I will speak it with power and to your honor and to your glory. Lord, I pray that these people in the hearing of my ears would receive this word and work on it, internalize it, and let you have your way in their lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. praise God. Greetings to everybody again. Greetings to the online viewers. It's good to have you, and it is definitely good to have my family in the house with me tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I would only have one sister that is our sister Rita, but tonight I have three sisters, and I give God thanks. I'm a grandchild. Oh, glory to God. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. Huh? Praise God with me when I praise in God. Catch the vision, catch the vision tonight, saints of God. It start with one, you start conking at one, then you go to two, three, and you can go up and up and up, and then you can go to full house. Glory to God. Every little thing give God thanks for. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Now, we're going to be speaking about fire tonight. And as our sister said earlier, the theme for tonight is rekindle the fire. Yes. Oh, glory to God. And my text I'm reading from is 2 Timothy 1, 6 to 9. Reading, therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you, through the laying on of my hands. This is Paul writing. For God had not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of his prisoner, but share with me in the suffering for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our words, but according to his purpose and grace that was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. Glory to God. I thank our sister Karen for reading the Bible lesson. So if you hear it twice now, we're going to sink right in. Glory to God. Now, as I said, the theme for tonight is rekindle the fire. Rekindle means to revive, to renew, to get back a feeling that you once had in the past. On the other hand, kindle means to catch a fire or begin to burn. You see, being passionate for God involves rekindling that spiritual fire within. And to rekindle the fire or kindle the fire, we must reflect. 
Hmm? And when the fire has been rekindled, we must take responsibility for our actions to keep that fire burning. So saints of God, I'm going to look at three words. Reflect, rekindle, and responsibility. And you are wondering, where is she going with this? Hmm? Now, another year has gone, almost gone. We are at the brink of another year. What kind of year was 2022? Would you say it was a real good year? Because you have success in your business, you have success at your school, huh? You had a good family relationship, you would get new friends. Did 2022 include lots of exciting things for you? New challenges, you had some tasks you had to do and they were completed. You had a great holiday. Or maybe you will rate 2022 a terrible year. Hmm? You see, as we reflect, maybe you will say, hey, that was just another year. Pretty much the same as any other year. Nothing excited happened in my life. Maybe some of you will say it was kind of dull and gloomy or dreadful. Hmm? Everything that could go wrong in 2022 went wrong. You see, the year may have included disaster, sickness, loss of friends, marriage problems. The children or grandchildren might just have been impossible, even death in the family. Saints of God, how would you rate 2022? Hmm? Think about it. Think back and check. What kind of person you were during 2022? Are there some regrets? As you reflect about actions taken, would you have behaved differently? Would you have shown more understanding, cared more for people, been more patient, less critical, been more supportive and helpful? As I, Vivni Sobers, reflect on the year 2022, there's certainly, Pastor Troy, there's certainly some things that I wish I would have done differently. I'm honest. There are some things I wish I would have done differently. Hmm? Yes, we need to reflect on the past. We can certainly learn from the past. But of course, we are not bound to the things that we did in the past. You see, instead of being chain to our past mistake, we can move forward knowing that we are forgiven. Mm. You see, as we reflect on our lives, do we see changes that we need to make? Mm? It is always good to look at the good in the area that you went through. Look at things that need correcting. What did you do the past year? Emphasize the good things and repeat them in 2023, but learn from the mistakes. Yes. Hmm? Yes. How about your relationship with God? Did that flourish in 2022? Hmm? Is it much the same as it was in 2021? Did our lives reflect the fact that we are children of the Most High God? Did we act in with love of God in our hearts? Come on, think and reflect. Then we interact with others with the same love and forgiveness that Jesus has shown towards us. Mm. Were we on fire for God in 2021? Or do you need to be rekindled? There's no need to answer, but God has seen it all. As it unfolded in 2022, and he had forgiven us all for our mistakes. You see, as we repented and confessed, our sins are forgiven. You know, we had a time of repentance right here in this assembly. Do you remember? And we have been assured of forgiveness each time we came to the communion table. 
How you would ask God to forgive you can't come to the communion table any old house saints of God. And you would have spent time privately before you come to the table to have your slate white clean. Mm -hmm. What wonderful love God shows us. You see, we are special to him. Do you feel special? Oh, yeah. oh no, Pastor, try to feel special. May I ask the question again? Do you feel special? Oh, hallelujah. I feel special in God's house. I feel special as a child of God. You see, the love of God is so precious to us, especially when we cry out in despair and pain. And we need the reassurance that everything will be all right. God was good to us. God is good to us all the time. You see, when I think about the goodness of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I think about the goodness of Jesus. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my happy soul cries out, hallelujah, praise the Lord for saving me. Glory to God. You don't always have to be in church to sing. When you're home and you think about the goodness of Jesus, you sing your song, you dance through your house, there are some times when you have to plead the blood in your house huh? and sing about the goodness of God so that your soul will catch a fire. And then when you look around, people in the house dancing too. Oh, glory to God. Set the atmosphere. Charge the atmosphere. Live for God. Be on fire for God. You see, during the year 2022, you know there were some times when we really felt down. We spent restless nights, and the morning brought no relief. Crying out to God, huh? praying. Right. And we had a forecast into 2020, 2022. You didn't want COVID-19 to be in your home. Mm -hmm. But some of us got it in our home. But praise the God, praise God, I'm still here. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Oh, glory to God. You, you got to know somebody that went through that. Yeah. Huh? And you suffer with them. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Is that God good? Yeah. Is that he a healer? Yeah. Is that he a deliverer? Yeah. Sometimes you get a uh, rap saying, pray for so and so. Pray for this body. And then you see the body up on the foot and running. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. God is good yeah. all the time. Yeah. He is a glorious God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes when you get up in the morning, you get a telephone call from a sister or a friend and give you words of encouragement, and then we were uplifted. Perhaps a sermon, a hymn, a devotion. It reassured us that there is hope. Amen. Glory to God. So here we stand at a gate of a new year. Now, we have no idea what will happen in 2023. Don't, but no matter what happens, saints of God, we must keep our focus on Jesus throughout the year. Be on fire for God in 2023. Huh? Try it. Try it. When you hear about fire, you wonder, some people might wonder about fire. Now, let's look at the natural fire. It plays an important role in our daily lives. It gives heat for warmth. Hmm? It gives light and is used for cooking. You see, when not in control, fire can be very destructive. Hmm. Fire can be a friend or it can be an enemy. Fire accidents often produce awful disaster and instill the fear of fire in people. You see, the more we use fire for good, and the better we are able to control fire, the more comfortable we will be around fire, and the less fear we will have. Some people, for example, fire, you know. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But when you look at spiritual fire, don't get, for example, this spiritual fire, we need it. We need something burn out. Amen. 
we need to be on fire. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You see, when it comes to the spiritual use of fire, the writers of the Bible usually attribute it to God because God manifested himself in various forms of fire on many occasions. Like, we find it with the burning bush with Moses, and with Elijah in the flame on the altar when God answered by fire. You see, fire is symbolical use of God's glory, his holiness, and much more. Mm. Let's look at this text, please, for a bit. The text that we read. You see, this is Paul's last letter. Let me rephrase that. In an ordinary Paul here. This is the Apostle Paul. Last letter to Timothy, his son in the gospel. You see, Timothy was in Ephesus, leading the churches. The churches in Ephesus came up with a great revival. And... Paul recognized Timothy was having some challenges. So Paul wrote to Timothy, instructing him how to lead those churches, how to confront certain teachers that were teaching strange doctrine. Hmm? Knowing that he, Paul, did not have much time left, Paul wrote one of the most compelling and inspiring letters to his son in the gospel, Timothy. This letter is powerful, as you heard our sister Karen read. And in spite of anyone who consider Paul to be their mentor. And you know, automatically, Paul is our mentor. Hmm? Paul left a lot that we can follow. Paul suffered a lot. And he showed us that no matter what you go through, no matter what challenges you have, you can live for God. Paul wrote most of his epistles in prison. Yeah. Huh? Are you in prison? Are you crying and I fighting? I want more and one lawyer to get me out. Anything about writing, nothing. But no, Paul was a man of God. Huh? He was called of God. So wherever a person that is called of God is, you will work for God. Sing your song, somebody got to hear you. Write your letter, somebody got to read it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Paul was reminding Timothy of his calling. This calling was not placed in him or put in him by man. It was a divine call by Christ himself. Hmm? This calling was affirmed hmm? and gifts were transferred by the laying on of hands. However, Paul's main focus was for Timothy to stir up the gift. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. You see, these words can mean two things, and both are powerful. To keep the flame of the fire burning, or to rekindle the flame. It is not that the flame had gone out, but it needed some stirring. It needs some fanning. Fan the flame! Huh? If you had a fire and it was going down, and you might see a little, little red ember, just fan the flame! Huh? Who knows about fanning the flame? Who know about cooking our wood? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Let me see a hand. Oh, then I mean, God, don't you find the flame? Yeah. I notice a lot of young people in putting another hand. <laughs> Sister so, so Shelly, you don't know about the wood fire. Bonita, you don't know about the wood fire. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to give parents an assignment. Huh? Start cooking on some wood and showing that this is the way it happened. Right. Find the flame so that they may understand. When Paul tells him, you find the flame, you want some fire. Yeah. You want it coming back alive. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And now if you are never on fire, you can't find the flame. You know got to get ignite. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? This word is for everybody. Yeah, your fire can start right here tonight if you never had a fire. And if you had a fire, oh, it can be rekindled Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's look at verse 6. It says, therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you turn the laying on of hands. The NIV Bible says, for this reason, I remind you to fan the flame, which is in you by the laying on of hands. When you look at this, 
this sounds like it was a sense of urgency that Paul was giving to Timothy. You see, the world was changing, and you know we are in a changing world now, so it is urgent that we fan the flame. We can't go out to do open air, coal. We got to got some fire. Huh? God, it will take you down. You got to be burning hot to give to be the word of God, to give to the people out there. There's some strange characters in the world today. And may I add, or may I clarify in Barbados today, hmm? that you have to give it as a child of God. Huh? And when they say something, God help you to convince them that there is a God. Huh? They're stuck in the ways, but I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. They tell you, you ain't bound to do this. You ain't going to go to church. You ain't going to do this or nothing like that. But I know. I'm glad I know. Jesus. I know whom I believe. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Now, he, Paul was trying to tell them, use your time well. Right? And we too, Paul left the word for us to fan the flame. Now, according to 1 Peter 4.10, all of us have spiritual gifts. You know that? All of us. One of Paul, um, Timothy's gift was preaching. He was a preacher. He had a gift of preaching. And was co it was confirmed at his ordination when Paul placed his hands upon him and prayed for him. So Paul encouraged him to rekindle that fire of preaching. Hmm? If Timothy was going to be passionate for God, he needed to fan the flame and get back that fire burning. Not only Timothy, all of us need encouragement in the area of our spiritual lives. Every one of us. Yes. You see, there are many things that can put your fire out or cause it not to burn. Mm? Many things. Mm. My encouragement to you do not let discouragement put out your fire. Do not let bitterness put out your fire. Do not let worldly desires put out your fire. Fan your flame. Get the gift inside of you stirring and serve God with a passion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we look at verse 7, it seems like it is a theme of the entire letter. It says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And, 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 and you know something? But of power and love and a sound mind. You know when fear comes up, you might be in a congregation or a setting or somewhere, and something is happening, and a word comes to you, a question, a comment or something, and this thing is of God, you want to say, but well, you know what happened? Fear comes upon you, and you, don't, you can't speak. The devil is a liar. Huh? Fear! But so I want to remind you, if you are anywhere and you need to say something, and you are sure it is of God, hands up, get attention, say what you have to say and sit down. Huh? If God tells you to say it, God will be with you. You understand? There's so many things, even in this church, God show somebody or tell somebody to do something. Oh, they never do it so yet. I never seen nobody do it so. And you keep it quiet. And then when somebody else do it, you say, you know I had that thing to do. God has shown me that to do, but I will show you. The devil is a liar. Huh? Blessing if you can't get your blessing. Huh? Be on fire for God. Know when God telling you to do something and know when he's telling you not to do it. Amen? You see, fear can hinder us from rekindling the fire. Fear can be a prison that robs people of fulfilling the calling of God in their lives. When Paul wrote this letter, he wrote it with certainty that God did not give him a spirit of fear. So if you have a spirit of fear, God did not give you that spirit of fear. Get rid of it. Hmm? You did not receive it from God. This, listen, this fear is not the same as being fearful of the dark or of heights. Huh? For many years, I was afraid of crossing the swing bridge. 
I always stop when they cross it and they get there. And I will go up the long way and come running around. Then I got little courage, and when I cross it, I will cross in the Millie Road. <laughs> yeah? And people will be shouting at me to move, but I hustle them before a car or something comes. That fear almost killed me. I felt if I have gone to this side, I will fall over. Huh? Fear does cripple you from doing things. Huh? So I want to tell you, if you have fear, it's not of God here. Paul wanted to tell me to be bold in the gospel and not be afraid of people. You know, afraid of people. Hmm? I was one of those. You won't believe that now. When I was going by man for anything, I would go through Brahmir's ground and through the cans. I could not go around the road to see people or people see me. Huh? Fear paralyzed me from going and going through kids. What? Tell me they let me go in cans or something like that. But I thank God today. Amen. No more fear. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Huh? Fear can paralyze you. Huh? Saints of God, where does this boldness come from? God! God! Huh? You're called to do a sermon, eh? Not me, I can't do that. Tell the devil is a lie, I can do it in Jesus' name. You can do it. Huh? Get somebody else to do it. Hmm? They say I can't sing, I can't start a song. But when the boldness hit me, I would sing a song, and I would start a song in Jesus' name. Is this the time for right now? No, another time. <laughs> Glory to God. Not, not tonight. Another night. Glory. Maybe in 2023. Huh? Amen. Amen. But you say amen, so she believe me. Oh. You see, we can rekindle afresh the spirit of power. You know the word for power in English is what? You can't want but you tell me. Dynamite. Huh? When the people, way back when the New Testament church first started, when the people were on fire for God, the news said they got the holy dynamite. The holy dynamite on fire for God. And I believe that if you really are on fire to God, you can do some real damage out there in the world. Amen. Huh? Out there, see it in kingdom. Yes. Huh? Go right. can preach the word of God with power like our Pastor Troy. I ain't hear amen to that. Come on. Like our Pastor Troy. Amen. Glory to God. Huh? Give credit where credit is due. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. You see, God has not given us a spirit of fear. Hmm? He has given us a spirit of power. Huh? You see, power moves what we think cannot move. Oh, hallelujah. Power changes what we think cannot change. When I told my sister Beverly that Dennis is coming to church tonight, she said, well, you pay her? I said, no, she spoke to Pastor Troy. Yes, I heard him on the phone. All right, I'm coming down. Yes, I will see you then. Glory to God. What have power in your words can change things, change the mountain, move the mountain. Hallelujah. I give God glory. Huh? I might, I, to you, I might say enthusiastic. Tonight. Yes, I am. Why not? Amen. Glory to God. I saw something happen that don't happen. Huh? God is good Amen. all the time. I bless God. I want you to catch a fire for God. I hope before we go, I want to go a fire sound here tonight. Get a fire sound. Catch a fire these people tonight. So they will understand and taste the fire and get burned. You understand? Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me tonight. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, Romans 1 says, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes. Hmm? Power. You know that the power of God can save, it can keep, and it can satisfy. Oh, glory to God. Brother John, I'm glad enough to see you tonight. Is the power of God in your life that bring you right back here? Is the healing power of God? You know, we're seeing it all around us. Let us give God glory. 
Let us give him thanks. Let us give him praise. You know something? When God working in your life, don't matter what happened around you, you're quiet, quiet, quiet. You can't answer. You can't reflect. All you're doing is giving God things. You know, so many people think you're foolish. I'm foolish for God. Come on. Huh? Come on. Come on. Huh? No matter what happened around, I give him God thanks. Yeah. Huh? Cause God undo. Why well, you think I'm still here? Hallelujah. God kept me. I'm still God. here. Oh, glory God. to God. God. You see, God is still seeking and saving the lost. He is still giving salvation to sinners. He is still transforming lives by the same power. That power that moves upon the soul to change what we think is unchangeable, to move what we think is unmovable, to transform a person from terrorist godliness, God can kindle a fire in anybody. Anybody in here tonight that have not given their heart to God, have not committed yourself. Yes, you come in church, and you know that you have not truly committed yourself. I love the singing, I love the dancing. If you have not truly committed yourself, let me tell you something. God can ignore you tonight. Yes. Don't leave the building unless you taste and see Hallelujah. that God is good. Yes. Come to the altar yes. before 2023. And you say to God, I'm going to be a new person in 2023. I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to change my ways. I'm going to put on my perfume. I've committed your church sweet for you. Huh? Some people just make New Year resolution or reservations. And then before January ends, you can't handle it no more. But I tell you, if you met that with God and said, God, I gave my life to you. God can keep you. God can cause you to be kept. I tell you, he kept me. Josh, child, and everybody here knows Josh. Huh? How we knew to fight and get on. I remember one day, something annoyed me. And a sister in the church said, I pray the blood of Jesus will right. Wash the blood of Josh over your life and let you live for God. Thank God I live for God. I'm living for God. I am living for the Lord. Huh? If anybody asks you what matters to me, tell them I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm just living for God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, the fire that I'm speaking about is the fire of God in our lives that has the power to transform. You see, many people do not understand the significance of this fire here. And they, they think they can kindle their own fire. You see, people are looking for some kind of spark. So they're trying to do it themselves. But where does this fire come from? From God. Huh? This power of God moving in our souls for the joy comes from God. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So God can ignite you and cause you to burn. And that fire will not go out. Oh, yes. glory to God. You see, when you taste and see and you enjoy God, you're going to live for God. Yes. Don't you know you're satisfied with a Christmas dinner from the kings of king table? And when you get that, you want no more Kentucky North, North yes. effect. Huh? You eat and beg. And you, you know, Proper meal from the king of king's table. Amen. And you don't want, you ain't going to have Kentucky not thing no more. No, you don't want a hot dog no more. My God. Oh, hallelujah. My God. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Amen. To rekindle the fire, we must rekindle afresh the spirit of love. Amen. 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 Because God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. God has given us a prayer of love to saints of God. This is not something that you can stimulate within you, you know. It is a result of the Holy Spirit within you. Because yes. you know the behavior of some people that make it hard to love them. But when God is within you and he gives you that love, you will love person that normally you can't love. Huh? Don't 
don't matter how they behave, don't matter what they say about you, you got to love them. Huh? You got to love them. Can somebody give me a um, turn check, please? 23? 23 minutes to 12. Because when the New Year step in, I'm inviting Pastor Troy here. Because we're rocking it, we rocking into the New Year with our pastor. You hear what I say? If you can pray, preach, whatever, we rocking into the New Year. This is the best place to be. Huh? And listen, other places, they got for your words. But we making we own for your words tonight in here. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I'm excited about 2023. I don't know about you, but I believe something great is going to happen. Listen to me. You remember the joy when you first received Christ in your life? If you have forgotten, let me tell you, God have not forgotten. Hmm? God won't love to be the foundational element in his relationship with you. Huh? You see, love is a transforming power. And when you move away from that first love, you move away from the power that transforms your life. Huh? You remember when you first get saved? You know, say, get church before the pastor. Huh? Some here get down here, the door and open and you're waiting. Yeah, and you're waiting. Transform. Look, one night I was late. And the sound that was saying, I am under the rock. And I rock it out there before you get in here. I am under the rock. The rock. What are you? And I said, but look at the scene and I ain't get there yet. But to start church early. <laughs> huh? So you had to get here to get in. You don't want to be a, when you come to church, I want to encourage, encourage you not to be a spectator. Huh? Don't come to look and say who's doing what or nothing. Get involved. Get involved. Huh? Worship. Huh? If you want to be on fire for God, you can't be a spectator. Huh? I ain't letting nobody get what belongs to me. I'm getting involved and I get him a blessing. And I want you to think like that. Huh? God is good. Not only yesterday, today, all the time, God is good. And sometimes when you go down to prayer, all you're doing is praising God. You can't get out anything but you're praising God. You thank God. Even something that looked impossible this evening, when God starts showing me how to work it out and do it, I was doing it and praising God. I was praising God. Huh? God, let me do something. You see this brain? As you get older, you will forget. Oh, our, our Reverend Rondo down here saying, you do forget. You forget. But God have a way of reminding you who you are in him and how you should behave. Oh, glory to God. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed to tell people I'm a child of God and I'm living for the Lord. Hmm? And don't be afraid. God will work it out for you. What if you have in 2023, I say, man, possible? God will work it out for you. Paul told Timothy, turn up the gift. Fan the flame. And that message to us tonight, saints of God, we want this fire to be rekindled for each and every one of us in the house of God. And if you're shy, if you whatever, God can work it out and fan the flame. You see, it's important to fan the flame in our spiritual life regularly. If we fail to do this, the fire that once burned brightly will dim down, even burn out. You see, if your fire is burning them, saints of God, chances are you know. Hmm? Because the Holy Spirit has already revealed it to you. If you're a child of God, you're going to hear from God. And the Holy Spirit will tell you, you are not how you used to be. You are not reading your Bible often. You are not praying. You are not the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. You ever went to pelt a lash on somebody and the Holy Spirit stopped you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit reveals things to children of God. And you ever went to say something and the minute you open your mouth, you forget what you had to say? Yes. Zip your mouth. Huh? Zip your mouth, then everything. Look, many times I went to a meeting ready to let go 
and people for the round they did me. But when I get around the table, like I, I got brown the words, I can't I can't utter a word, and everything was sorted out in my favor. Yeah. Glory to God. So when the Spirit of God is guiding you and leading you not to do, don't do. And when the Holy Spirit is leading you to do, do in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, Timothy, he was struggling in his faith. But his, he was struggling, but his faith was genuine. You see, we read in verse 5. Listen to this. Then I call to remember the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Louise and your mother Eunice. I am persuaded it is in you also. It God be in you. I am seeing the signs. They train you, and you're behaving like them, so your faith is genuine. So he had some struggles, but the problem was that he allowed the struggle to affect his passion for God. And Paul noticed it. So Paul encouraged him, rekindle the fire. Hmm? That's what we should do with each other. Huh? You are hear me, you are custom hear me praising God, and you come in here and hear me sitting down there with my hand in my lap. Tell me truth, but don't you come to me and ask me, dear, what's the matter with you? Something wrong with you? Oh, and but lick it off. Yes. If you notice something wrong with a sister or brother, go to them, encourage them, and help them. Verse 9, 8 and 9, the two last verses, says, Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of me, the prisoner, this is Paul, but share with me in the suffering for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling. Not according to our words, but according to his purpose and grace which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. You know we are all called with a holy calling. Hmm? So therefore, yes, we will suffer for Christ, but let us not be ashamed of him. Let us not be ashamed of who we are. We all must remember Christ's call on our lives. And I listen to many testimonies in here how people shared with us how they were saved. I listen carefully. And some of you are very sure that it was God that called you. So when I see you out there playing, coming to church and living for God, God coming to you, man. Huh? Will you tell me God called you? God called you and send you back? God don't chase me anybody? When he called you, it's a holy calling, and he called you to stay. Yeah. Hmm? You see, God has saved us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Huh? He called us according to his purpose and grace. And we have a goal that is to live for Christ. Be on fire for Christ. Saints of God, we kindle the fire. Now, I reach responsibility. Hmm. We all must accept responsibility to make changes that must be made in order to rekindle and maintain the fire. Our responsibility cannot be shifted to others. Your, your responsibility cannot be shifted to the pastor. Pastor and do what I want him to do. Yeah? Pastor preaching too long. Pass the patient too sharp. You are responsible to get that fire in your life burning. Yeah. Huh? Do not put the responsibility to anybody else. Right. Now, a reason why men ought to be careful and watch themselves and not others because every man will be judged before God according to his own life and not by comparing himself to other people. Hmm? Now, I believe that some aspect of the old year we can reflect on and remember fondly. Things that God has done in your life. Huh? You take responsibility. But looking ahead, we are striving to be on fire for God. I know we have God be on fire. 
Huh? Carla has got to use some fiery words in my house. <laughs> I don't say. You got to get firm. Hmm? So, perhaps this year we will finally accomplish that long term goal, saints of God. So, let us look ahead. Let us keep our eyes forward. I want you to look at Proverbs 4, 25 to 27 with me. Here's what it says. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level path for your feet and take only ways that are firm. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Hmm? You see, in looking ahead, we are not being distracted by things in other direction. Looking ahead has with it a stated purpose of advancement. You're going forward. Hmm? We are pressing towards the goal of rekindling a fire, which will start tonight. Therefore, in order to do that, we need not lose our focus. Eyes front, saints of God. Keep moving, saints of God. Do not look to the left. Do not look to the right. Look to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on the prize. Mm. And as I conclude, I'll say, as we enter a new year, we will find that indeed this is an exciting time of our lives. Yes. You know what's going to happen, but you're trusting God yes. and you're going to be excited. Yes. Living a focused life finds a focus on the spiritual task before us. Many matters in life are important, but none as important as serving God or being on fire for God. I encourage all of us in here tonight to keep the fire of faith, hope, and love burning within us. Let us rekindle the fire and return to our first love. Brethren, think on all that I have said tonight. Think clearly and carefully and reflect. Hmm? Reflect on all that I have said to you. Because I'm encouraging you to reflect Rekindle and take responsibility for every aspect of your spiritual life. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Amen. God bless you. Tonight. Pray that God will continue to bless our sister and as we reflect on our lives. There are times we have to take responsibility for our lives and what we do in our lives. At this time, we're going to ask our pastor Troy to come and he would do what God leads him to do. God bless him as he come. Those with oil, he would bless and he would do what God leads him to do. Bless him. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. We, we know how the word to stir our spirit. Where we need to reflect, rekindle, and take responsibility. Amen. Even me sat and listened carefully because we got to reflect sometimes and see. And just this morning, I was talking to God about some things that we need to look back at. And as I was talking to God at three this morning, he was sharing with me that if we're going to go over in 2023, everything that happened in 2022, God get leave here. It has to be left here. It has to be left here. Because the Lord said to me this morning, now three o'clock on my bed, that he's going to increase incredibly. And I, but I, but I, I try to understand the meaning of that, and I cannot get it understand fully. And the thing about it is that increase means it's going to be something added to what you have. And incredibly means greater than, bigger, greater, larger. 
So when I thought about that, I started to put the two words together. The Lord is saying that he's going to move us to a new level with increase. I know a lot of people, like when they hear increase, they think about money. But I'm saying to you, more money will not give you more spirituality. It's more obedience and more prayer and more sacrifice and all those things are the things that will grow you spiritually. And one thing I've learned is that when God increases one area, he has to increase the other. Because he's, he does not stop at one. He's a complete God. Hallelujah. So when he deals with part of you, he deals with all of you. So whatever you have need of. So I want to share that word with you. God said he's going to increase us incredibly. Church, you with me? That's our prophetic word we're going in with. Uh, he's going to increase us incredibly. So if you walk with burdens in 2023, sorry, you're going to increase burdens in 2023. But if you walk with God's yoke that he said is easy and light, you would increase likeness. You increase freedom. You would increase the glory and the presence and power of God. Hallelujah. That's what I believe God for for you. And even first, g- give me first. Thessalonians chapter 5, 23, my brother, as the Lord, the Lord shared that with me at 3 this morning as well. He gave me this to read over you. And the thing about it is that as, as, as I looked at it, I said, God is truly amazing. Listen to, listen, listen to what he said. He said, and the very God of peace. Hallelujah. In other words, he's, he, he, he's going to throw you straight into 2023 with a peaceful mind. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what it is that you will walk with in 2022. You are going in 2023 knowing that the God of peace is speaking of you that you shall walk in peace throughout the year. It doesn't matter what comes your way. God is decreeing over you that the peace of God is going to guard your heart and your mind to Christ Jesus. So he said, and the Every God of peace sanctify you holy. Hallelujah. In other words, he's going to work in you everything that is wrong in your life. He's going to clean you out. He's going to purge you. He's going to knit you together. Even broken pieces. God is saying he's going to sanctify you in a way that when he puts you back together, there's no one that can take that glory because a broken vessel, when you put it back with glue, somebody still can see the crack. But when Jesus puts you back together, you are completely new and the cracks are removed. So he said he's going to sanctify you wholly right inside deep. And he said, and I pray God your whole spirit. In other words, the part of you that is connected to God, the spirit man, that part of you will become more and more aware of his presence. In other words, you will know when he speaks. You will know when he walks. You will know when he talks. You will even know when the presence of God is activated around you. Sometimes we don't even recognize when the presence of God is operating. But I'm decreeing over you that the increase of awareness is going to come to a level that you will know when the presence of God is there and you will sense when he wants you to move. He said, and your soul, because the soulish part is that part that always want noise, that wants to fight, that wants to quarrel, that part of you that never is satisfied, that soulless part. He said, I pray that, that even that soul part of you would be made whole. David put it this way. He said, why cast down all my soul? Why disquiet it in me? Hope thou in the Lord. I'm decreeing over you, Robert, today and those online that the soulish aspect of you that likes to confuse you and likes to bog you down and make you think that the whole world is against you. I break that from your life today. I break that chain. I destroy its grip in the powerful name by the authority that the spirit of God has given me. I shut it down in the name of Jesus. I command you to be loose from heaviness. I command you to be loose from bondage and every fetter and every weight that has rested upon you in this year. We loose you and decree that is left right here in 2022 in the name of Jesus I decree the freedom of 
God uh, over your life uh, because the word tells us uh, that where the spirit of the Lord is uh, there's liberty so I decree liberty for you and upon you and over you in 2023 in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah somebody hallelujah hallelujah and your body hallelujah even your body. Uh, there's some of us that have been wrapped, as the older folks said, wrapped with pains. Uh, all around us we feel the pain and the sickness. Uh, my brother Andre said the other day, he don't know how I'm getting it done. Uh, because it seems every minute uh, sickness is raising its head around me. Uh, but you know what I learned even as Pastor M. Uh, I'm not being given the spirit of fear. Uh, can somebody uh, but of power but of love, so it doesn't matter what the devil release around me. Past is decreeing over you. It doesn't matter what the devil loose over you. I decree that you shall stand in power. You shall stand in a sound mind. You shall be strong in 2023. In the name of Jesus, if sickness come, we decree that the fire of God shall loose it, shall release it from off your life and heal you in the name of Jesus hallelujah so that you will be preserved blameless you'll be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ we don't know when he will return and I heard Pastor Rimney sharing, and it was actually an altar call she gave to those that don't know God. And I, I got a drum with you as your pastor. It said those that know God, that know they're in the right position either. I have to say that too. Because some of us are in the kingdom, but still outside the kingdom, are all, are something not of the kingdom because we're not grounded the way God wants us. It's not a condemnation. Because if God condemn us, he can leave us. All he wants us to know is to draw a little closer. He, if, if it wasn't that we would draw away sometimes, he won't put that scripture, draw night unto me, and I will draw night unto you. He won't have to put that in the Bible. So that means that times we drift. At times we walk away not knowing and it's a, it's a possible thing that when Jesus comes, he might return or he might take us. And if we're not in the place, we might find ourselves blamed. I pray that God will preserve us as he take us over in our bodies, our souls, our spirits. Father, I pray that you will hold the hand of your people. Father, I can't hold them in no other way but pray. And as I lift this, your people up here and online. Father, I've made a commitment to you to pray for all of them. And God, I trust that you've been answering prayer because I can see the evidence of it. And Father, all we ask is that as we join together, your word said, if two agree on touching anything on earth, it shall be done for them in heaven. So I pray that as we come in oneness in 2023, the mouth of the enemy shall be ripped off. It shall be destroyed. Even his head shall be crushed because of the unity of the body of Christ. We destroy every negative word word uh, the enemy will put in our ears uh, even in our heads uh, even in our hearts uh, we break it from our lives uh, we set up a watch right now by the blood uh, of Jesus uh, we pray that none of these things uh, that the enemy will send our way will be able to penetrate us uh, because you are keeping and uh, covering us uh, keep us from evil oh God uh, because you are a good God. So if we pray today that as we go over into 2023, we shall see the power of God increase in our lives. We shall see it increase in our church. We shall see it increase in our ministries. We shall see the increase in all things, oh God. Even as J.B. said, enlarge our territories. So, Father, 
We claim enlargement today. We claim enlargement. And Father, as we start to move, Paul said this, God, that effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Church, the Lord is saying to you, as Paul said, the door has been opened unto me, but the attacks have risen. But he never stopped working for God. My prayer is that you won't take your hand from the plow, church. I pray that you would give a fire that people will lay their hands upon the plow and keep pushing, oh God. Keep grinding, oh God. Hallelujah. So, Lord, bless them. Father, every family associated with this house. Father, I even pray for the increase you showed me. I decree next year shall be increased increase numerically in Roba, oh God. In the name of Jesus, it's time. Father, we've been cleansing. We've been purging. We've been waiting. So God, as your servant, I pray that you answer this prayer now and bless us numerically in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You said to us, if we lift you up, you will draw all men unto you. So that's where we continue to say, Lord, rubber is yours. Not mine's, but yours. So do whatever you see fit in this house, that your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for businesses in this house. My God, those that are already in motion, those that are in the planning stage, I pray for the wisdom of God to operate the way you would want these heads to operate, Father. I ask, dear God, that you would give direction. Father, I pray that you would give them business sense. I pray that you would open avenues of clientele in the name of Jesus. I ask, dear God, that as you increase these businesses, uh, Father, that you, oh God, will increase the families. Uh, and as you increase the family, increase the giving, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we ask also that you will bless those that are thinking of businesses. Uh, Father, I pray that you will lay your hand upon them, uh, send them to the right place people to give the right advice and the right direction where the finances are needed oh God go before them at the financial institutions and let the favor of God go before them and surround them and keep them I pray in the name of Jesus father thank you that you've given the blessing every idea I pray that you will lay your hand upon these ideas your word says that we can commit all ways unto you and it shall be established so establish it even the ministries in the church I ask their God for commitment from the leaders and as you lead them they will lead us Father we pray humility will be part of this leadership and Lord as you do it for them we will see you do it for others thank you for all that you've done Bless this oil, Father. We do not see superstition. We don't believe in magic, but we believe in the presence and power of God. So I pray that as these oils are used, whatever ailment or impediment will be removed in the name of Jesus. Father, that healing will be manifested, whether it's the save or the unsaved, wherever it touched God, let the power of God be released. I pray in Jesus name so let your will be done in our lives for 2023 as we place this year to come in your hand Father we don't know what to do but Jehoshaphat said our eyes 
We shall watch you and we shall trust you. There we can trace you, oh God. Because you are a God that says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Order every step in this house, I pray. In Jesus' precious name. Let's give God some glory, church. Hallelujah. I want every visitor to come. Come. Don't be fair. Every visitor to come. Reverend Rhonda, anoint them for me. Every visitor come. Come, I can't let you go without praying for you. Come, every visitor come. Don't be afraid. Come, you didn't bother her, come, man. Come. Don't be afraid of me, come. Come. Don't worry about the body who call you, ain't in charge of church, too. Come, don't get afraid of the body face. Come. I want you to anoint him for me. on a mission for 2023, a serious mission. Nothing is stopping it neither. As God got some work to do. And in the presence of these people tonight, I decree over your life a change. I decree a change over your life. Because of your obedience to come in. I pray that the Lord will confuse the enemy from tonight. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of God will rest upon you from tonight. And that hand will be the convicting hand. The hand that will be heavy until you rest in his bosom and tell him, Lord, forgive me. I pray that as you as go on your bed, that the presence of God will be so strong that he will draw you to him in the name of Jesus. I pray that he will reveal himself in 2023 so real to you that you will recognize it could only have been the Lord that is on your side. The word of God tells us that's the goodness of God that leadeth man to repentance. So God's saying to you, he's saying to you, he's going to show you some things and he'll show you that it's only he that do it. He's going to show you that it is him by showing you it could have only been God that do it. So Father, today we speak the blood of Jesus over this young man. We pray, oh God, that the hand of deliverance would rest upon him. Father, we pray the hand of comfort also rests upon him and that the peace of God will come when he rests in you, O oh God. We commit him into your hand in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, that from today your voice will be heard in his ears. Father, he might not understand it, but we speak that he shall hear your voice and he shall obey. And Lord, I pray you would align him with people that will be able to explain what you are saying to him. Thank you for doing it. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, come on, church. Give God some thanks to the young man. As I hand back over to Reverend Rhonda. And I give God thanks for bringing us over in a new year. What a privilege. What a privilege. What a privilege. Thank God for that word. God has not given us a spirit of fear. But power. From November. From November. Things was, you call it flashback. Yeah. I did say they don't tonight. Can I go into it? And I had a flashback. Oh, here's night. My mom died. Oh, here's night. And I keep remembering. I did say that my heart don't swing. I said, I rebuked 
Satan, in the name of Jesus. Only God knew. I said, wait, this happening to me now. It's like they repress things and, you know, I start thing, coming back and that kind of thing. But thank God for the word. Thank God for his word. Thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. For God has been good to us. We hear like we are dumb or something. Like we dumb, we can't open our mouth and give God praise. The word of God said, let everything that have breath praise the name of the Lord. And we should be praising God. We went through a lot last year. But this is a new year. And God love our praises. God love worship. That is when God worked for you on your behalf. So much pain in our body. You cut suddenly your back, your head, everything coming before you. Suddenly people set you up. I was set up. But I usually I would talk about it, but I was very calm. I said, hmm, you're Bill of Gallus for me. You gotta turn around and hang on it. And I was very calm. I said, no, I won't say anything. I'll watch it. I was set up. But I tell them, don't mess with me. I'm a child of God. Amen. I'm a child of God, and God is my protector. Amen. God got me because I trust him. Amen. I trust him. God and his step, my steps, they are ordered by him. Don't look at 12 o'clock for saying all oh, things. I am not saying that because I don't know what it means. I don't say that. I don't go by tradition. I go by what God tells me to do. Sometimes I'm a little disobedient because you think about what people will say and what people will think. But this is 2023, and God, I surrender to you. I'm a vessel and use me to your honor and to your glory. And be your name, be lifted up and glorify and magnify. I make God's name bigger tonight. Because of God that we are here, it's because of him that we breathe. People keep trusting in God. Don't be ashamed to tell others about Jesus, now he's going to be ashamed to tell his father about us. These are the days to get serious for God. Because God has done so much for us. Oh, when we were being condemned, he stepped up. I'm, you're not guilty. I'm here. I'm not guilty. Because all of our sins are in the sea of forgetfulness. And we are clean and we're ready. To work for God. People, put your trust in God. Stop playing the fool and live for God. Do not go in 2023. Hear him one another. Let us love one another. Let us trust God and ask God to help us. I have proved him over and over. Sometimes I have some little children there. It's not easy to deal with. But I realize that God showed me the know-how. How to deal with them. Let me do something. Our children, pray for our nation's children. The drugs got their head confused. So it's, that's why I don't really blame them. Let us pray for our nation's children. And God bless you. Our sister to Katrina will come now. And let us sing to him. Praise him. Let us sing from the depths of our soul. Because we are praising him. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Who can sing? Who hum? But we are going to sing to the honor and glory of God. In the name of Jesus.
Hey! 